Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and another Auto World video. This is a, a complete series video where I've completed a full series of Auto Worlds, which is just the regulars and the ultra reds. Sorry, no ultra raws in this one. Um, but yeah, those are hard to come by, right? One of ten. Uh, the ultra reds are hard enough to complete a series. Uh, but yes, so we've got them all for this 2021 release two. This what you're looking at here is the last ultra red I needed to acquire uh, to achieve the series. And we're using this as just one card example. The rest of mine are opened. So there you go, premium series release two. This is the version B card, uh, 63 Chevy Two Nova 400 wagon. Um, you can read all that stuff if you want. Here's a quick look at the back of the card. Best accuracy, best detail, best value. Lots of new stuff going on in this particular series. So really, really cool. You guys know I'm a huge Auto World fan. Uh, we're going to look at this uh, complete series. We're going to go ahead and I guess we'll just, we're going to go in order. Um, so this is number four in the series. Number one in the series in a heavily anticipated tooling is this Corvette. So the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. This is version A in black. These were limited to 13,904 pieces. So quite a few of them out there. Should be able to acquire them. Um, I did show this, of course, in another video when I first got hands on it. Um, and I think it actually in an Auto World unboxing video. So this was version A in black. Version B was in Arctic white. Both of these look really good. I think that uh, Auto World did a great job with this tooling. We will go ahead and open the hood. So, or the hood. Yeah. The engine compartment. There you go. There's a look at the motor in there. So pretty cool. Here's a quick look at the base of this one. Tooling number is 57. Um, very, very awesome. Glad to add this uh, to the collection. Then, of course, we got the Ultra Red, which just looks awesome. And, of course, your Ultra Red. So let's talk traits real quick for these Ultra Reds. Um, so we got an Ultra Red body, which is obvious, correct? Nothing on the base. No white base or Ultra Red base in this release. Uh, what we do have that's a little oddball is a white interior and on top of that white interior we also have white a white engine underneath and that's going to be the traits for all of these now the ultra red is three percent going on three percent of the production line being that there's 13,904 of each color this particular ultra red i believe is limited to 834 ish pieces 834, 835, and those will be split up between the version A and version B cards. Very nice. So I love this. I love this Ultra Red. This is a fantastic one. And I like that it doesn't have any colored tires or anything in this uh, particular release. Um, here's the next one in the series, number two. This is the 2019 Chevrolet Camaro ZL11 LE. Uh, these are limited to 12,920 pieces. This is the version A color in crush. In orange. Looks pretty good. Uh, so this is effectively a new tooling, I suppose, as well, because uh, this is the one, the, the whatever, the ZL110E version of it. And it does look pretty good. Crushed. I think that's what the plate says. And look at the plate on the Corvette. It just says C8, I believe. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it looks good in orange. And then we have a satin steel gray, which looks pretty good as well. And of course, these have an opening hood. Well, we'll just open the hood of the Ultra Red because, well, maybe we should look at this one too. There we go. Popped her open. There's the detail underneath the hood. And then, of course, the Ultra Red is going to be the same traits as the Corvette, where we have an Ultra Red body, a white interior, nothing on the base, no weird colored tires or anything like that. There's your tooling number, by the way, 59. Um, but we should have a white engine. I'm not sure if I opened this one up yet or not. There it is. White blob under there. So a pretty interesting chase feature. 
Love it. All right. Number three in the series, and this actually might be my favorite of the series. This is the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Technically a new tooling as well because it's the first time they've released the Demon version of this, I believe. These wheels look great. Uh, this version A is in Destroyer Gray. These are limited to 14,408 pieces for the version A and version B, which makes the Ultra Red limited to 864 and there's your tooling number 58, Destroyer Gray. Uh, they picked some great colors for this one. The Destroyer Gray just looks absolutely cool. And that hood's not popping open easy, so we'll just try the yellow one. Uh, version B is this one right here. And this one's in Yellow Jacket. Appropriately. A little different here because they got the black that goes all the way down the back as opposed to just the hood. Um... There we go. That went open nice and easy. Just black under there. There's really not much to look at. Pretty cool, but the Ultra Red looks absolutely killer on this one. If it didn't have a white interior, maybe it would look a little bit better, but, man, it looks really cool. And then, of course, we're going to see a white motor. If I could get this open. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> There we go. Peek in there. That's the easiest way I know to get the hoods open anyway. I don't want to go prying with stuff. You just risk chipping paint and stuff like that. So usually just a little knock on the on the roof of the car will pop her open just enough where you can get a fingernail in there and open it up. But I really like this one. This one's fantastic. All right. So that brings us to the Chevy Nova. So here is the Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon. This is version A. In saddle tan poly, uh, these are limited to 13,904 pieces, which is going to make our ultra reds limited to 834. Um, brand new tooling for this release looks good in the saddle tan poly. Here's a quick look at the base of the vehicle uh, tooling number 56. This is the first release of this car from Auto World. Get the hood open here. There's a little quick peek at the motor. And it looks pretty good. White line tires look okay. There's a little bit of wonkiness going on over there. Oop, and I just knocked this one off the rim. There we go. So it looks pretty good in that color, but I think the better color for it is this one here. This is the uh, Azure Aqua Poly. This one does not have the white top either. Just that beautiful metallic paint job. And looks really good. I think it's just, yeah, Nova 400 Utah. Utah plate on this one. Um, pretty cool. And then, uh, of course, we got the Ultra Red. So let's go ahead and get that open. Here it is. For the piece. I, I think, I, yeah, I went to eBay for this one. So I just really wanted to complete this series. Usually I try to wait till someone will trade something with me or something like that, or just wait for a really good deal, but sometimes I get a little bit impatient. I'm just like, I'd like to just complete this darn series. Oh, you know what else I didn't mention? Uh, the Ultra Red. So yeah, Ultra Red body, uh, white motor, white engine, um, which this one doesn't want to open. There we go. There's your white engine. White interior. Oh, they also go out the version A traits. That's why this one has the white top of the version A car. Even though it was found on a version A card, it goes after the version A traits. Uh, it doesn't make a difference on some of these. It doesn't really make a difference uh, on the Corvette or the Camaro. It does make a difference on the Challenger because this doesn't have the black on the top that the uh, yellow one does. So it does make a difference there. Um, I believe the plates are all the same for version A's and version B's in this release. But, uh, but yeah, that's why this has a white top. Really nice. Really nice looking ultra red. You got a little bit of... Uh, it's a little bit of flashing from the tire over the rim. That is fixable. I probably won't honestly bother, though. Unless I decide to take some really detailed pictures of this. Then maybe I'll clean that up. 
All right, so next is the most people's favorite in any auto roll release is the 19, well, not particularly the 1982, but any of these square body pickups. This is a 1982 Chevrolet Silverado 10 fleet side, limited to 16,904 pieces. This is actually blue, dark blue, um, and it looks fantastic in person, uh, dark blue with the silver side. Um, and yeah, so this is a really nice release of this. This is technically a new tooling because of this new front core with the quad lights and the vertical grill slats. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks good. 1982 on the plate. Uh, I thought this was black, and I thought this was a silly release because you have this one, and I thought this was black initially, and then this one is version B, which is black. Um, so here it is in black. Uh, again, limited to 16,904 pieces. Uh, we can take a look at the motor. Not much to look at there. It's pretty much all black. like the wheels on this one, though. Those look really good. Anyway, both these trucks look fantastic. Really good releases of the square body. And then, of course, we got the Ultra Red. So the Ultra Red, you should predict, because it's going to look like the version A car. Here we go. Silver sides. And, of course, the white interior, Ultra Red body. And then, of course, under the hood is the white engine. And that makes the Ultra Red the most non-limited Ultra Red of this series, being one over 1,000 pieces, likely 1,014 by my calculation. If they're still doing 3%, I think they still are. doesn't really say explicitly that they are 3% on the back of the card anymore. It used to, on some of the releases anyway. But yeah, this is really cool. Tooling number 49 looks really good. Really, really nice. And that brings us to the last car in the series, which is this guy right here. This is the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado and limited to 12,920 pieces. Version A here in Mandarin Orange Poly. Very cool color. Um, really, really cool color. The one gripe I have with this, of course, is these white lined wheels. White wall-ish, whatever. I don't know if they call them technically white walls, but we got a problem there in the back one. Um, this side looks somewhat okay. If I do see this out in the wild uh, or Walmart or something like that, I will probably pick another orange one up just to fix these wheels. If I can find one with a good example. And actually, I bought the Ultra of this off of eBay, and I'll show you it in a second. And the reason why I picked the Ultra that I picked was because of looking at the wheels. Look how big that engine is in there. It just looks massive in this huge car. Um, so, yeah, and the tooling number for this is 52. This is a fairly new tooling. And it's, just, it's not the first release of this tooling, though, is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. One, the release, two releases before it, or the first. And then this one, version B, is in uh, Jennifer Blue. Blue dash, white interior, white top. Looks pretty good. Again, you got these white line tires that are just not really great circles. So that one improvement was to be made, that would be nice. It's it's not too bad when you're like looking at it in person and stuff like that. The when you go to take pictures of it though, like if you're gonna take some really nice photographs of these, um, which a lot of people do like to do with their die cast, especially loose collectors, like to take pictures of their cars, um, that's gonna really stick out. Uh and then we get the Ultra Red. Now, I scoured I the reason why I got this particular one because I thought in the pictures that it looked like our white lines were actual circles. And for the most part, I think I did a good job scouting this one out. So again, ultra red body. Uh, you got your white interior. Um, and then of course under the hood, we're gonna see a big white motor. There you go there. And you know, you can't see what's in the other side of the car, but I think I did all right, all things considered. What does that say? Pay up? Yeah, pay up on that license plate. All right, so that's going to be it for this. Just a quick little one featuring Auto World 2021 Release 2, Auto World Premium. Again, fantastic to finally get this last one added 
and well, I shouldn't say finally. I mean, we picked these up really quick. Uh, I got most of the Ultra Reds checked off like immediately, at least four of them, I think, from uh, my pals SC Diecast. Uh, the, all of these cars were available in straight packs. Every single version was available in a straight pack, and I ended up buying um, all the Ultra Reds that they ended up getting. So I got the Corvette, I got the Camaro, uh, the Challenger, and the square body Chevy. Um, and uh, yeah, so I got those and then I had to eBay the Nova and the Caddy. So not bad, not bad at all. Um, I know they're ordering straight packs of the next release too, so I don't know if they're going to give me the opportunity to purchase them from them right off the bat, but I will probably if I can. If I got the funds at the time, the diecast funds. I'm going to say this is my favorite release. Uh, this is my favorite is this Challenger the Demon. I think it just looks so awesome. Second would be the Vat. Really, really cool. It's hard not to pick the Vat for first, but just I think they did such a great job on that Demon. I like it. And then third, probably the Square Body. Fourth, the Nova. Then the Caddy. Then last. Last place would be the Camaro. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching again. Here's a quick look at the cars and you guys have a great great day